I refuse to allow my child to be another victim, allow her friends to be another victim. Tanisha's daughter goes to Hinkley High School and was hiding in the bathroom the moment gunshots rang out from the parking lot earlier this month. So I don't know what to tell my daughter besides get in the back stall, put your feet up and stay still. You wait until you hear this is Aurora police. You can come out. When she received the email from Aurora Public Schools about new security measures following a string of youth violence in the community, several scenarios went through her mind. My concern is that now the violence is just going to move directly into the school. You know, there's going to be a lot more fights. But Tanisha says she understands why the decision was made. Along with additional police on and around campus, APS says students are no longer able to leave for lunch or go to their cars during school hours unless they have permission. And that it is simply for their safety because they could have been either one of those boys out there in that parking lot simply walking back from lunch. Tanisha wants other parents in the community to raise the bar when it comes to raising their children. Parents, we got to step up. We can't put everything back on on these teachers that made the choice to be a teacher, the policeman that made a choice to be a policeman. We made the choice to be parents. And we need to make sure that as parents, we're doing our job. She says if a closed campus doesn't stop the violence. They really need to look at bringing back remote learning. If that's the only way that I can keep my child 100% safe is knowing that she's in the office doing her schoolwork, then that's what I'll do because that's my responsibility.